Hi, welcome to my channel where I like to share early literacy resources as well as science of reading videos. If those are things that interest you, please make sure to like and subscribe this video so you're up to date on my most current content. Today I want to talk to you about word ladders. Now we know that the science of reading calls for systematic and explicit phonics instruction. Word ladders are an activity that gives your students an opportunity to practice that explicit instruction that you've given them in phonics. What a word ladder does is it creates a chain of words that are connected by simply having one word, one letter changed in each word. Now, word ladders help students practice both their encoding, their spelling, as well as their decoding skills. Word ladders can be done in whole group, small group, or independent practice where they're filling in the ladder themselves. Personally, I like to do it as a whole group instruction because I'm able to easily build it into my phonics block. Here's an example of how I would use word ladders in my classroom. So I would start with a word ladder where I'm only changing the initial sound. I would show them the word, bat. Let's change the b to s. What word did we make? Sat. Let's change the s to k. Cat. Very good. After my students showed me that they were okay changing the initial sound, then I would show them a word ladder where the final sound was being changed. So again, here's the word, had. Let's change the d to t. What word did we make? Hat. Let's change the t to m. Mm. What word did we make? Ham. Very good. And finally, when my students show me that they were okay changing initial and final sounds, then I would give them a more complex word ladder where both the initial and final sounds are being changed within the word ladder. So here's the word, bad. Let's change the b to m. What word did we make? Mad. Let's change the d to m. What word did we make? Man. Let's change the m to p. What word did we make? Pan. Very good. So as you can see from my example, word ladders are a great way to provide differentiation for students, whether they're only ready to focus on changing that initial sound or that medial or final sound, or a ladder that has all those sounds changing at once. Again, the benefits of a word ladder is that it helps students identify individual sounds as well as make that connection between letter and sound because when that sound is being changed they're able to see which letter is also being changed at the same time so making that phoneme grapheme connection another thing that word letters are good for is that it helps build confidence with readers so when I have some struggling readers, I like to work with them on an initial sound word ladder because they only really need to blend that first sound, that first word. And then after that, they're only focusing on changing one letter at a time rather than having to decode a whole word. Also, I like word ladders because it can be exciting and engaging for my more advanced readers when I give them a complex ladder that's changing multiple sounds at once. So, like always, if you're interested in the digital word ladder that I modeled with, I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. Otherwise, leave me a comment or a question about your own experiences using word ladders. And until I see you again, happy teaching.